Hey everybody, welcome back to DPage TV. I am DPage, and in today's video, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what I've been doing, especially since I've really been uh, uploading a lot of Roblox tutorials, and I thought, you know what, why not go back and um, redo or just update some things for my um, character customizer that I've done in the past, because I know a lot of people have been, like, you know, trying to um ask me about hey can we get like a certain update for the character customizer so um i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what i've been doing so i'm just gonna run the game here and as you can see um this is not actually my character's outfit i do have a default outfit so let me click on reset um, so if I click on reset, you see that it matches to whatever the, uh, the avatar has. But of course, um, I can definitely, um, pretty much update my outfit if I wanted to. So if I click here and I'm just going to update my shirt, I'm just going to put the bully club shirt and, uh, let's see, I can zoom out, zoom in. So... I don't know why my camera's acting like that, but I'm gonna update my pants. If I can press complete, there you see I have my Bullet Club shirt. Now, let's just say if I stop the game and I play it again, look what happens. My outfit uh, comes back. So I still have my Bullet Club shirt with my pants. Now let's just say if I want to just update my shirt if I wanted to. So there you see that they have the AEW is Jericho. If I press complete, AEW is Jericho. And it even shows like the updated uh, pants and whatnot too. So so my character always has the... Um, has a way to just update uh, its apparel if it wanted to. So I'm still pretty much working on the uh, the character customizer, but as you can see from now, um, my character customizer is um, pretty much saving and loading every single time. Uh, the character's outfit so that way uh, every time it starts to play it has the new um, apparel and of course if I ever wanted to um, update my clothes I can always go to the character customizer stuff and just uh, update my shirt pants and face that's all I'm going to do for for now I'm just going to update the shirt pants and the face and uh, let's see if I can do the face now so let's just put it to where it's uh, see Goku or Vegeta if I press complete uh, oh and you know what let me um, update the shirt too and let's see if I press complete there you see I have my Vegeta face if I stop it and if I play it There you see I have my Vegeta face again. Uh, that's what I have so far for my um, my character customizer. So I got a lot more stuff that I need to add on to, especially cleaning up how to uh, make the menu for the character customizer. Um, just cleaning up to make like you know the buttons and stuff. But it's coming along pretty pretty nice. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on. The, uh, the character customizer. Hope you guys uh, are having a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. And um, if you guys want the the full project, of course, um, be sure to. I want to get like a lot of thumbs up for this project. So um, if you can, just like you know, give me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to go 
and pursue a tutorial for this uh, please let me know and I'll go ahead and structure a tutorial of how to create a character customizer which comes along with like you know uh, saving and loading data so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace